follow up on that breaking news we first told you about last night at 11. The Apex Friendship High School JV football game ended early after three students got hurt. All three went to the hospital. You might have expected an ambulance would have been at that game, but as our Amy Cutler found out today, that's not required. She's live at Inlow High School in Raleigh with more on that. Amy? Well, Sean, folks here are getting ready for a Friday night football game. There is no ambulance here, and according to the county EMS, if there was, it would be just a courtesy. In less than an hour, the principal at Apex Friendship High School confirms three of its students were injured in a JV football game. The first two were hurt in what he called a freak play. They ran into one another. Then in the third quarter, that third student was blindsided during a punt return. Principal Matt White says all three were treated by the trainer on field and taken to the hospital. We called 911 and they got here as soon as they could. But as soon as they could wasn't fast enough for some parents. They say it took Wake County EMS 20 minutes to respond. Whenever you have anybody laying on the ground, the minutes seem to stretch. Um, we called 911 right away and my understanding was there were a couple of those units that were on calls, so they got here as soon as they could. That White tells me there was no ambulance at that game, and according to Wake County EMS, no ambulance is required to be at JV or varsity football games. What would you say to parents who believe that there should be ambulances or EMTs at every high school football game? Well, I certainly understand that notion. I completely understand it. At every football game, there's going to be an athletic trainer. There's, there's going to be some type of medical go-to person uh, who can begin those first, uh, first interventional moments uh, while we're on the way. Now, that game last night ended early, but the principal says it wasn't because of those injuries. Rather, it was late and a school night. As for that response time, why it took 20 minutes for an ambulance to get there, more on that side of the story coming up live at 7 o'clock. Live in Raleigh, I'm Amy Cutler, WNCN News.